Hi, I'm Phil Fisher, and this short video is called Solving Puzzles, and it's about interpreting trout behaviors on the stream, observing insects, and interpreting those things into fly selection. What I've taken is a blend of entomology, on-stream observation, and fly tying to help fit together and help you solve puzzles more effectively on the stream. I put together several short vignettes of trout behavior and what I'd like to start with is nymphing trout. What we're looking for as we observe several fish on Oregon's Fall River is the side to side movement of the trout. They'll rise up and intercept nymphs in the current and I think you'll be able to see this quite clearly from the examples I brought, brought to you. Here I've captured some film of nymphing trout and I'd like to show you some of the subtleties that you're looking for on the stream. This is a nice rainbow in Oregon's Fall River. You can see him move side to side. He just took a bug. Move up, and back, cross. Another good example. You'll see this fish move well out of his feeding lane to take a nymph. Here's another clearly nymphing trout. See him rise, take, move back, and back up, take, move over, take, take another. Let's watch this fourth take in slow motion. What I want you to look for is the trout rise off the bottom and his mouth opened right there exposing the white interior as he took the nymph. That's what we're looking for in nymphing trout. This second series of clips is intended to show you what you're looking for when trout are taking emergers. Probably flies just below the surface of the water. Um, what you'll see in the film and what you're looking for on the stream is a rise form, but a rise form that's very distinct. You're looking for the dorsal fin and the trout's tail to come up above the surface of the water, but not the snout of the trout, or not the, not the head of the trout. When you see that rise form, that very distinctly tells you trout are taking a merger subsurface, and you've got to adapt your, your uh, fly selection to uh, meet that situation. This is taken on New Mexico's San Juan River and you can clearly see in the upper mid section of the, the video here uh, several trout taking emergers right on the surface. What you're seeing there is the dorsal and the tail emerging above the water and that's indicative of a trout taking emergers. Here's a little bit different view. Again watch the rise form and watch what you're seeing. Typically when you see the tail coming up above the surface, that means we're on a mergers. The next series of uh, video is focused on trout taking duns in the, uh, on the surface. What you're looking for in trout behaviors here is a very clear snout rising up. I'm also going to point out as we go that quite frequently you'll see not full-fledged mayfly duns floating past and being intercepted by trout, but on this film you'll be able to see that clearly the trout are taking cripples or flies that are just barely emerging and beginning their metamorphosis to the adult stage. These, uh, these flies are lying very low in the, in the surface film and as a result they're uh, very vulnerable to trout takes. Here you'll see a couple of trout very clearly rising to duns. I 
watch this fish for probably a half an hour working the surface on a real nice beta hatch this day. And I moved in front of a log and watched this particular fish take duns right off the surface. And I'd like you to notice as the film scrolls along, watch the bugs coming in from the right hand side of the screen. You'll see they're not full-fledged uh, duns, but for the most part these are cripples um, riding down the surface of the, the stream. You'll see some full duns go by and not be touched, but the, the cripples are uh, being picked up almost every time. The reason for that is a full-fledged dun might get up and fly away right as a trout intercepts it, whereas a cripple won't because of its low visual on the surface of the water and it's much clearer for the trout to see and much easier for it to take. This next series is on trout taking spinners. A mayfly will hatch typically sometime during the day, either morning, mid-afternoon, early evening, and they'll spend the rest of the day in the vegetation along the stream bank. Um, typically in the evening, say a pale morning dun pattern, will come back as a rusty spinner. And what you're looking for in this situation is a very, very delicate rise. Typically the rises are um, very, very small. They're not the big um, swirls that we saw earlier in the film. These are very delicate, very small, and often signify very large trout. I think you're also um, going to see in this short uh, some small trout taking spinners on the surface, and I'll point those out so you can differentiate the larger fish from the smaller in this video clip. And again, this is taken on New Mexico's San Juan River one evening with a uh, spectacular sunset. There are hundreds of fish in this run and you can see Many of them are clearly taking spinners on the surface. Very, very delicate rise form throughout this film. As you look in the upper midsection of the film, you saw several fish come clear out of the water there. What that signifies is a pretty small trout taking spinners. Whereas here in the center of the video, these delicate rises could be anything from a, an 8 or 10 inch fish all the way up to 20 or better.